Hello everybody once again, this is Akua Kazu and welcome back to another 7 nights video here. I'm gonna to try to do one 7 nights video a week, which is why you're gonna see this on Monday to chase away your Monday blues. So to this video, according to, uh, of course, if you look at the title, I think I'm gonna name it accordingly. I haven't named my title yet, you know, you do the naming of your YouTube video title after you upload it. So we're gonna be doing what I believe Elvin have requested is to test out the... Uh, what's that? Seven nights item ticket. We're gonna do it ten times, so it's gonna be two hundred and fifty rubies. We're gonna do that, so we're gonna use two hundred and fifty rubies for this video, as well as discuss a few things. I actually need your help and your suggestions on uh, who to transcend and who to actually use the unlocker layer. So the new year, the Lun lunar new year event will allow you to get one one unlocker layer. And one transcender fina. I actually got one transcender fina uh, right now, which is from the 30 days uh, new year event. So the 30th day you get a transcender fina, which is right here. And I need your I need your suggestions on who to actually transcend. Right now I'm gonna spam my. Okay, this is what happened. Okay, I managed to summon a six star. Droopy, or rather, I got the six star droopy from the thing is, I believe, is 28th uh, day login. Yep, I just started my first first day again, as you can see, four weeks. So, the 28th day was a six star random six star unit. So, I got a droopy and asked my friends, they said that it's okay to use the six star droopy to unlock the inventory slot for Shane. And I got another two five. I got another five star chains uh, recently. Wait, did I do my Rachel summoning? I'm not too sure if I mentioned this in my other videos, but yeah, I think I did. Okay, I didn't. Oh man, mini mini money no. Where should I go? I see most people just choose random boxes everywhere, but I'm trying to concentrate around the center because if you mention a guy, I mean it's supposed to be random that has the money and he doesn't open one by one. They wouldn't put it on the first few, right? Like, you'll be so lucky if you just got it on a 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11th try. So I, I'm guessing that the RNG puts it somewhere in the center. But they won't put it at date center because people will, the people that do random will be choosing those. And... I'm gonna choose this one. Wish me luck. Alright, got a free 3 star. So, let's uh, collect it. Alright, we're gonna do... Uh, I'm gonna do the rubies first, of course, putting the highlights of the video at the start. Okay, alright. So, my friends, when they summon, right, they have some rituals. For example, they'll look at her, you know, her assets, and then some people will actually go to costumes. They will actually find, I believe, Alice. Where is. I don't actually have Alice. They'll find Alice and they'll wear this costume. And if you realized, alright, if you realized, you'll do something all right i didn't quite get it all right there we go <laughs> some some blessings from alice here and we'll go ahead and do 10 10 four to six star seven nights item ticket uh i will say something all right here we go guys wish me luck number one not so good number two elin spear number three all right Number four, Rachel's head. Number five, number six, number seven, number eight, number nine, Mumble, number nine, and the last one. Shit, no, that's, that just broke the flow, that's so bad. Oh boy, that's so sad. Set. Okay, let's get the last one. Usually, usually when people you know do things in bulk, they don't want to break the flow. Okay, I kind of expected it. So out of ten summons, we got ten four stars. But the question that you might want to ask, and it's actually the question that I have when I did this summoning, is that if I rank up these weapons, do I get the next rep or uh, next rank of the same weapon, or do I actually get? You know, 
do I actually get the same weapon by the higher rank? For example, right, I want to actually get speed attack. And I noticed something here right now is that, I don't know if this is a coincidence, but Chris Great Sword always gives critical rate. Do I have another Chris Great Sword? I only got one just now, I think. Chris Great Sword. Yeah, because the one that I got here, Lord Chris Great Sword, is also plus 30% crit rate. You can see here this one as well. Look at that. 22% crit rate. So, Chris Great Sword might just be something that gives a critical rate, which is not what I want. I need speed attack or lethal attack. So, like the baby claw here is not what I got just now. But basically, I'm looking for speed attack here for Chris, speed attack for many people, and lethal attacks actually for. Uh, for Shane, so we're gonna try to get the speed attack up though. I wanna actually, yeah. So, again, before I get to upgrading or ranking up the weapons, I need your suggestions to who should I use the unlocker here. Alright, who should I use my droopy? So, I can actually unlock two inventory slots. I can, you can suggest me to unlock like both of Chris or both of Shane's, but you know. Wait, the next question I ask is if you unlock the, the slot, do you get to choose which slot? To put or can you just put any equipment in those slots? No, I don't think so because you can only put one weapon and one armor. So do they unlock the armor or the weapon first? So that's a good question. I actually do not have the answer to the question. So if you have the suggestions, I think that is going to come into play. So let me know when who should I actually unlock twice? One with the droopy, one with the unlocker Leah from the Lunar New event. And who should I transcend? I have two a uh, transcender Fina, which means I cannot I cannot get Chris to 34 because transcender Fina doesn't allow you to transcend seven knights. So among my basic units, who should I transcend? I mean, I have one, two, two Shanes already, so I can get Shane to 34 if I get both to six star, which is going to take a while because the elements that I have right now, I only have one three star fire and. So that means I have one 4 star fire, which means I need another 4 star fire to get the 5 star to transcend even one of those 5 star chains. So I need your help guys. So for the transcend for the transcendent Fina, it's either Shane or I could get my Nia. And I actually have a bunch of Nia's 4 star, 3 Nia 4 star, so I need 2 more Nia's to actually get Nia to 40. But is Nia worth transcending over Shane? Personally I will transcend Shane, I will unlock Shane, so Personally, I wanted to unlock and transcend Shane all the way, but you know, I want to make this video interactive. So let me know in the comments, guys, your suggestions. And I may or may not follow your suggestions, but I'll see which one you guys want to see. Because if I transcend and, and unlock my Shane, then I can do a Shane showcase or something. Like, I can pimp out my Shane to 40, get her to be a golden card, kind of stuff, and then showcase her damage and rates. Like, how far. Right now, rates, right? I can do level 15, anything above 15, I cannot do more than 100,000 damage before dying. And I haven't gotten my Seek, which is this guy, the one that gives me stun immunity, where you... I can get him up, but again, he's using the Universal Evolution Material, which obviously, I will be saving for my Nia. Actually, I can get my Nia in 6 star already, so I'll work on Nia 6 star in the next video, for some updates, so let me know guys, let me know. Alright, so now let's test if we can actually... Uh, what happens when you rank up the weapon? Let's, let's see what happens guys. So let's see the speed attack weapon. Get the power up. I have a lot of... If you notice my goal actually dropped, what happens is, uh, is that I actually used a lot of my goal. It's not too bad. Uh, to... I maxed the formation level for the formation that I'm using right now. So that used about 1.6 million or 1.7 million gold that I had up from, I mean, previously I had 2.7 million, 2.8 million gold, and then I was down to like 600k, I'm back at 900,000 now. So, alright, let's see what happens when I rank up the, I have a feeling I'm going to get a random one for sure, but, you know, let's see what happens, rank up. Do I still get my 7 Knights weapon or it's gone? So you do not actually get the 7 Knights weapon again. I did get a Kitty Claw though. The range is pretty low for a 5 star. Actually it's alright for a 5 star. Usually 5 star you get 120 or something or 115. So yeah, I can safely say that... Okay, actually it's not too bad. For the armors, right, if you look at... Let's see, armors. Oh shit. Okay, you look at 
Like this one is one, two, three, four, five, six stars, and it's only six, seven, five. But if you look at James armor, 405 already. If I remember 5 star armor, there are some that give like 365. Like look at this one, 345. So this one wrote pretty well for a 4 star. And I think 5 star armor, I've seen like 600. So maybe the 7 knight, I think 7 knight's weapons or armors have better stats. I might be wrong. But let's see all oh, again. Let's compare. I don't have a 6, okay. I have a 6 star block Chris weapon and you can see that it road 220 look we didn't get a 240 but yeah it's 220 compared to uh usual 180 this two i got from farming 110 so my usual farming this six star trident is 160 base not so good okay i tested for you guys so it's definitely not worthwhile even though it was actually quite easy to power up let's power up one more i guess use up all the three star shit that i have And see what we get for the next one. And I mean, in the end, you you rank you rank them up. You can actually, um, what am I trying to say? You can actually use them. Oh wait, get the non uh spiked heart. I guess we'll use all these armors and hats. In the end, you'll get a five star, and maybe you get something good after you rank up. So let's do one more time. I didn't even get speed attack after that, so it's all randomized once you rank it up. Oh, um, look, look at this. 90 attack, 5 star. <laughs> look at this, 4 star. Okay, so I'm pretty sure that 7 knights weapons have better stats, for sure. For sure. Alright, for sure, guys. For sure. 5 star weapon, and it wrote 90, you guys. Look. Yep. Pretty sure now, pretty sure now that that 7 night stuff actually gives more rows. What else can we do today? Alright, I actually prepared a number of uh, 3 star fodders, but let's level a few more up first. Hang on. Uh, let me see. And you know, we can do our usual chat, our usual conversations today. So you noticed I put my Velika at the back right now because I maximized my formation and yep that is important and right now my uh, skill usage sequence is fire the meteor the flame of darkness and unfortunately i couldn't one shot uh with the whisper of darkness with, with chris when he's not in the back position maybe when i unlock his inventory he can do it so i cannot one shot everything here so I can assure at least two out of three of my fathers surviving every time when I do this for the first two rounds and the last round it's very dependent on RNG and yeah this is what's going on right now so what what am I up to this week this week I'll be uploading another video it will be the division uh, my thoughts on division uh, and the beta it's about it's about 54 minutes long video i recorded the main video and i need to go edit with my stream footage that i got to add in some of the stuff that i talk about while running around in the game so that's what is up and february 8th will be xcom 2 i'll be playing xcom 2 and i still haven't heard from from the overwatch beta person yet so hopefully that is still going to be working out I'm not too sure yet. but I should be emailing the 3DS uh, capture card people this month and yeah, New Year is coming up guys. Hope you get a good Lunar New Year I mean. And I can tell you right, farming the Lunar New Year event for 7 nights is so tedious. It's like, you need to do 700 adventure modes man. I look at my keys, I have over 300. I know there are some people out there who are new to the game and they are short of keys. But for me on the other hand is, especially for Nicole, she has like over 600 keys. <gasps> so I have like 300 and the reason why I don't really run out of keys is because when I do this, I told you guys right, the achievement will allow me to get like 200 honor when I acquire like how many number of heroes. So that's what happens. So I get more honors, like 200 honor, that means 20 keys. And of course I didn't earn that, that 200 honor in 20 keys obviously. But if you add that, I get 
40 keys every day from the guild, 10 keys from the, no, 7 eyes will always give you 10 keys every day when you log in. And sometimes events like check in, you have keys as well. I'm stuck at around 300. I actually got it down to zero at one point, unbelievable. But I'm back at 300, so. The thing is, I need the keys, but I need to do 700 adventure modes. And apparently, someone told me that you can actually enter the adventure mode and leave, and you'll still count. But you'll waste the keys, so. Don't really want to do that, right? I'm sure you're gonna waste your keys. And I think some of my friends who are like. Okay, who have been playing this for 2 to 3 months, they are telling me that they are running out of keys. So. I'm like, okay, I better not mess around with keys, you know, keep my keys safe. And then you have the other part of the grind or the repetitive stuff, which you must do because it's, it's, a, it's a transcendent, you know, it's a free 6 star monster, essentially. That is the unit that you want, but not a 7 knight, right? So, I can show you guys how much I have right now. Takes a while to load. 229, not even half ways. And I've been doing like diligently. This one is like 395, so I have about 300 more. 300 more adventures to run. And you can't even do daily dungeons only once anyway, so I think this daily dungeon thing is quite shitty to be honest. Like, why even put it there? You know, it's only one. And yeah, we can see that my arena keys, I'm keeping it down. My Celestial Tower keys, I'm keeping it down. Oh wait, this one is quite a bit. Okay. So let's do a Celestial Tower. Even though my video is not going to be more than 30 minutes long for a key to spawn. But yeah, the event, I think the event rewards are good. I mean, you can actually, you can only trade the rewards once. So once you hit the highest tier once, right, you'll be just trying to get the next tier, the next highest tier. And the lowest tier don't actually, you know, take quite a bit to get anyway, so... It's not that hard, it's just that... <sighs> Unlock a Leah, 700 runs, and then you have Transcendent Fina, which is 500 uh, Celestial Towers, Arenas, or Castle Rush. Basically, it takes a while, and people want progress, you know. Gamers like us, why we play games is because, I would say it's an addiction, it's just that, I think it's a, it's a very human thing, like, everybody wants to achieve something in life, everybody wants to complete something in life. I'm sure you have, you know, especially those who are working or those who are, you know, you are transiting from graduating from studies to finding a job or you are working right now and you are working on a brick project or you have dreams to fulfill, you are training yourself, you are an athlete accomplishing something for the day, accomplishing something over the week, accomplishing something over the, the month or the year that feeling is what I'm talking about here, not the addiction to, to progression but progression in life and I believe there must be some gaming psychology that's behind this where they actually know how to design games that is uh, that hooks you. I won't say makes you addicted, but you know gives you more reason to play the game. Actually that's that's a very you know thin line to say, but you get what I mean, right? So Seven Knights have this this thing, like you realize that they, they throw you a lot of achievements uh, that you can get. Every day you have your special quest daily achievements to do. So you can see that they're actually playing that card quite well in the sense that they want to keep you they want to keep you achieving, you know, they want to keep you to be like in most games I believe they'll actually restrict you like you know. I don't think okay I can put this guy. So they'll actually restrict you to achieve anything more than once. Like for example, Q 100 boss monsters. Woo! Free, free 100 rubies, right? And then that's it. You don't see the achievement anymore. Most of the time in other other mobile games. But in Seven Nights, uh, Q 350 and they give you the next tier. Well, you need to queue more, but the next tier rewards is higher, is, uh, is more. But it takes longer time to achieve. But at least they still give you rewards. So I think that's one part of the game that, that they have done well. And I know, like, I've been in some Facebook groups for Seven Nights or in just reading random stuff about Seven Nights online. Some people say that the Asia server uh, or the global server events is very lousy compared to the Korea server. It's the same thing with Dragon Eggs, alright. The main server or the serv the service that started the game will always feel better than services that started after this. Just how people think that the grass is greener on the other side. And then I know I saw this meme which is because the grass is fake. <laughs> it's quite funny. They, there's a lot of uh, relations to that that meme because of like people related to plastic surgery like you think that the other girl is prettier or you think that the other girl should be your girlfriend or the other girl is better than your girlfriend because she's prettier and then when you 
actually got together with that person, that person is either a trap or the person has fake body parts, that kind of stuff, you know? So that meme actually applies to a lot of things in life. But it was pretty funny when I read it. Oh shit, no, 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 no. So yeah, I think everyone is drawn to completing something uh, in life or anything you do, anything for the day. For example, for me, right, if I don't do anything proper for the day, I will have trouble sleeping. Like, I will be lying on my bed and my brain will go into hyperdrive. Like, I should have done this today. You know, maybe I have this very good video idea that I can do. That I can. I, maybe I could have been a. Uh, I could have played better or I could have been more positive about certain things earlier today. I was quite bitter or quite. quite negative throughout the day, kind of stuff. So, if you end the day positively, for example, me making a video right now so that I can sleep later on because I would have completed something that I want to do today. So. Yeah, I think that's something that that's food for thought and I think that's something that people face daily in their life which is the need to to achieve something for the day, for the hour, for the month, for the week, for the year, you know. And talking about that, one way to actually prevent yourself from not achieving, you know, that I'm pretty sure there are days where you just float. For example, in school you just float, you're not listening to the lecturers, you're not listening to your class, you just float, you know, you're there but you're not there, your soul is somewhere else but you don't know where, you're just lost in life. And one way to combat such things is to plan. For example, I plan to upload a 7 nights video every every week and I plan for this video to happen. Thank you to Elvin by the way, your comment actually spurred me to come out with this video. If not, I will not have one more additional incentive to come out with this video to, sh to show you the I won't say to show you the rates, it's more like my experience, my 10 uh, buying of those 4 to 6 stars and that's item. And hopefully my experience gives you an idea of what you'll probably get or what you'll probably not want to do which is not to buy. Because you can, I could have used those rubies for mastery which I believe Thomas will tell me to do so in the comments. Don't worry Thomas, the rest of my rubies will go there. And I think that playing mobile games is about, you know, doing just what you want to do. Sometimes it's not, I mean for the hardcore players, who, like my friend Kenshi in Bloodline, you must achieve uh, X thing by X day, you know, this guy must be drop change level max by this next day, that kind of stuff. So there are some people who are really hardcore about mobile games, like in Summoner Wars, I must farm at least 450 guild uh, uh, badges or points so that I can exchange for, I can buy at least 2, you know, Tilma stuff per day. Oh, I got a 4 star! This is rare, and it's not during the hot time as well. Okay, that being said, so yeah, now that we are here, what I'm trying to do here is you can see I prepared 1, 2, 3, 4. Let's prepare 2 more. This guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy. I'm running out of hero space, and when I actually fuse is when I see that my hero space is running out, so I can make more space to farm. What I want to do is to uh, get 2 units up to 5 star plus 5 and see what 6 star heroes I'm going to get. So I'm going to start working on that today. Instead of, you know, the last video I told you guys I did like the, was that the 10, level 33 star plus 5 fusions, 20 sorry, to get 10 fusions and it was pretty sad. So today we're just going to fuse, casual, you know, we're not going to expect anything good, we just want to get 4 stars to feed. 4 stars, level 30 to plus 5, and then get them to 5 stars, and then get those 5 stars to plus 5 as well. You know, just casually doing it. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, we're just gonna do one more. And we'll just fuse them. And let's see if we can get one. Uh, can we get 2 4 star plus 5 today? I don't think I can actually. Not enough 4 stars. I have. Yeah, I don't think I have enough all stars. Actually, I have a bunch of jokers. We might just have with all these fusions. Alright, so first one, guys. First one. Oh, I got Sylvia. I have her before, I think. Oops, wrong button. Oops. My bad. My bad. Oh, uh, Nicole has affinity with this this person. 
It's like, go, go, that's the bad guy. That is one of his uh, voice acting, uh, what he says. It's quite funny actually. Okay, the last one, guys. Oh, got a Hulkin again. Okay, so. I still got so many slimes. Okay, wait. One, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three. No, I don't have enough for another two fusions. So, what I'm gonna do is. Okay. Alright, we'll use Ivan as the person in the power. I think. Should I feed the 3 stars away? I got this all from the hero. I'm just gonna feed all the 3 stars away. Because I got them from the hero uh, rate, drop rate, over the, the last 2 days, Saturday and Sunday. And we'll give you one more. Just to bring it to. And then add 2 4 stars, Hokins here. So he's plus 5. Alright, who should we ship today? Ivan with uh not Karin. Because I think I'm, I'm oh wait, I'm not using Karin anymore. I can actually ship Karin. Okay, we're gonna ship Karin and Ivan together guys. What should I say? Uh bye Karin. I have Lina already, that's why I don't care about my Karin. <laughs> okay. Cathy because she can go only max to five stars. Okay. Two jokers. I don't know if Jane is important, but I'm gonna throw with my clocks and my mini talking. Hmm. Yeah, okay, so we're gonna do Ooh, we got it guys. Two four star plus five. Let's see what five star we get. We're gonna ship Ivan and Karin together. <laughs> Let me know in the comments as well who you wanna see me ship next. Alright, look at look at the heroes that I have, okay. The next four stars. Can't do Shane or Nia because I need her. Okay, wait. May I cannot because I'm using her. I can do Heaven Nia and someone else, alright? Give me another Okay, maybe Heaven Nia and Guppy is that a good suggestion? Let me know in the comments guys. Let me know in the comments if you want to ship Heaven Nia and Guppy. It's kinda of weird, but at least they are they both have a look at this the human and her. <laughs> okay! Alright. Alright. Here we go guys! Will it be a successful ship? Let's find out guys. Last thing in the video. Woo! Not monster! Oh Alice! Oh! Hi! I don't have Alice and it's a 5 star Alice! Liars boys! Okay, the reason why Alice is good is because she has an AoE passive effect, or rather a passive effect of increasing damage on all enemies by 30%, essentially increases your party's damage by 30%, and she can resurrect, alright, and she can heal. So I can't remember, but I remember my guildies were telling me to prepare Alice and me for Castle Rush or something. So yeah, it was good, man. We did it. Pretty good. Alright guys, looks like maybe you want to try shipping uh, Karin and Ivan. That might just work out for you guys. Okay, so before I go, just a quick overview to remind you guys what you need to do with this video for me. Alright, let me know who should I use my unlocker Leah on. I have two, alright. I will, I will have two by the next video, I'm sure. And I will need to let you, you need to let me know what you guys want to see being transcended. Shane, I can get Shane to 34 straight up. And then this two will get her to, to 38, 38, and then I can get her to 40, and then throw away this two to feed uh, Heavenia and Guppy or something. So let me know, guys, about some uh, suggestions to uh, yeah, translating and unlocking. Let me know. Alright, that's about it, guys. My name is Minako Kazo. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thumb the like button, as always. And one thing that I always do is I always try to rush my outros, because I don't know. It's like, you know, Hello Everybody once again, this is Aqua Kazu. Like, intro, I always put a lot of effort. Sometimes I, re ha I have to re record my video because my intro, that like, I have to cut and re record. So, outro, I always rush out as well. So, I want to do it slow. Make sure I tell you guys what to do. Subscribe to the channel, you know, if you enjoy some nice video like this, this once and the ones before. Check out my streaming uh, channel. I stream every day 7 pm, GMT plus 8 Singapore time. If you do not know what's GMT plus 8, you can go Google it. So, 7 pm GMT, I stream mainly CS. And Division is coming on XCOM 2 next week and of course my 3DS games, once I get my 3DS capture card and maybe Overwatch beta if I'm getting a getting put to be part of it. And yeah, check out my new Facebook page, alright. It's not it's no longer the Kazoo Dragon S Haven one, it's the personal one that I have right now. All the links 
are below in the description, so check it out. Thanks for watching guys, my name has been Akua Kazu, God bless, I'll see you guys and girls in the next video, alright? Next Monday for 7 nights or the Division Overview video if you want to check that out as well. Goodbye, adios, take care.